which will sound like a harsh criticism, but the team on the bottom of the table fighting for their survival needs quick reaction time from every player when the smallest of chances avails itself. For 12 goals in 13 games makes the Jets the lowest scoring team in the competition. That has been their Achilles heel as much as anything else. Wouldn't they love an early goal here? Yesich. Playing in that right channel. Sets it up for Will. It's a beauty from Newcastle to get things going here at Energy Australia Stadium. We didn't have to wait long for the firecracker to be set alight, and it was a beauty, an absolute beauty. Marco Jesic playing wide rather than central, and he teed up Robbie Middleby beautifully. James Holland switched the play nicely. It's good feeding of the winger, and Jesic, the youngster, sets up the experienced opponent, feeds the ball magnificently, and the first touch from... Joe Wilhouse, who's having his best season in a long time and a goal to show for it. 35 games into his A-League career, Joe Wilhouse finally gets off the mark. His first ever goal in the Hyundai A-League. And what a time to score it. And you're right, they don't make a habit of coming from behind Sydney FC. They did it last week against Queensland Raw, but it's an exception rather than the rule. They have to do it again here this afternoon. Shannon Cole over the set piece. Good delivery as well. Let's go off the head of Bush. And Sydney have equalised. Ian Fife. Newcastle Jets, poor defensive work, you have to say. And Ian Fife has squared it up for Sydney FC. You're talking about the plateau that Shannon Cole may or may not have hit. And his free kicks have been a little bit off the pace recently, but not this one. Flat, curling, Aloisi not with a goal, but with the next best thing, a touch on the far post. Newcastle's defence less than convincing. A defender from Sydney gets his noggin on the end of it from a yard out. And we're back square at the Energy Australia Stadium. In the end, a very simple finish for Ian Fife. Goal number four of his A-League career. Corica. Aloisi. Now Bridge. Here's Corica. Took a touch. And the shot from Brendan Gann! The young man scores! For Sydney FC, the visiting team in front, what a moment for him, what a moment for Sydney. He's breathed new life into their season. Yeah, it was a fabulous moment for a debutant, as close to a debutant. Talked about a starting berth for today, the player of the season out of the New South Wales State League and real composure on the finish. And for a rare moment, John Aloisi gets to receive the ball and face his defenders. And he can set up the attack here two telling passes. Firstly from Mark Bridge who set up Steve Corica and that's the advantage ball we talked about from Corica. Not a happy game for the Sydney captain but that was the moment that could have swung the three points the way of the visitors and a finish of, with, of real aplomb from young Brendan Gann. Ante Kovic has done everything almost to stop Sydney's advances but he was helpless on that occasion.